sure And Jenny, too. I would not be working on that one. I, I always have to work. <laughs> Hold that for a second, my <laughs> love. Good morning, everybody. Hear me as speaker or something for that? Uh, maybe no. There's no. There's nothing going I'll on yet. I'll do it, but I'd like to know ahead of time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Panama Canal. This is Jenny B. What's going on? I got the camera kind of high so we can, uh, so you can see that. But uh, I should be able to read the chat. I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, we're just gonna let it run. It's gonna take about two hours, I think, from this point to get through the locks. Uh, oh yeah, there's some chat. Hello, everybody. Maybe Jenny B will read the chat in a second, but I'm gonna try to get a shot of this bridge. Look at this, here's the bridge. It's raining like crazy, y'all. What's up, everybody? Well, I was getting ready to go out there and the rain just kicked up again. I'm gonna get my shirt wet. It'll be a wet t-shirt contest right. can, you in see, can you see the chat up there? I'm gonna read it from oh, my you're phone. Gonna, okay, Jane's gonna read the chat from her phone. I'll take the 360 cam. Oh, you're doing your phone, sorry. What's up, everybody? I can't even read the chat. Good morning from back in Florida. Hello from Vancouver. Good morning, everybody. Much love to the local fam. Does anybody know what the name of this bridge is? I'm pretty sure I butchered it. I think it's the Bridge of America or something like that. It's Atlantic. It's the Atlantic Bridge? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Somebody wants to know if Don's on our ship. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's on our ship. <laughs> Yes, Don's on their ship. <laughs> the only reason we're on this ship is because of Don, his desire. So like the, the horizon's level enough, it'll tweak me out if it's not. I hope everybody's Leon doing good. Leon is in from Australia. Did you say Eon? Leon. Oh, I thought you said Eon. No, like, you know he, we say but Ian. He, but Ian is on. You know we say well. Ian. I know, I wish it would have brought the rain thing. So, Gary Robinson saying that bridge wasn't finished when we were there in 2017. We had to take a ferry across the canal. Then we get super wet, but I really want to get the shot. Go, go for it. That, that's the encouragement. Yeah, I can always go change shirts, right? That's all right. Eddie, tell Charlotte we said hello and we haven't gone through yet. We're just about to start it. Oh yeah, we're time lapse and we have something out there too, Mark. Thank you. Twixie Chores wants to know why I'm up so early. <laughs> so the thing is I get up early I just don't shower early right like I work a little bit yeah. then I take a shower <laughs> yeah. but this trip I seem like I have to be up a lot early many days Good morning, Tinkerbell. Yeah, we'll fit under that bridge. If we ever get there. Yeah. And we just got passed by a rowboat. <laughs> Everybody's saying, you know what, we're well, sorry the weather's bad, but you know what, it is what it is. It is. It's still beautiful. We're on a ship. That's right. Yep. Hun, Tammy wants to know how our Weight Watchers are still going, rather than the canal. I know. No, we're doing good on it. We even started drinking our coffee. K 
cappuccino, no sugar. It's only one point. Good morning, Cincinnati. Hope you're doing well. Yes, yeah, so someone was saying this bridge was just finished in 2017. It's all good with the rain. I'm under a cover, so I'm not getting wet. I won't melt. Tony might. All right, let me go down to the bottom. I haven't been there yet. Uh, Bonnie, thank you. I will tell everyone on the island princess hello from you. Uh, you know what, Jean? It might be the internet. The internet is a little sketchy this morning. Plus, it's raining, so that could be why it's a little blurry. <laughs> Eddie, we are going through the old locks. Yeah, yeah. I just did that in November. Yeah. Oh, Guani Squares, thank you for the compliment. I will tell Tony. Marini from Michigan said hello to everybody else. <laughs> Standing around, so hello, everyone. Well, gigs, we are on the Island Princess. Uh, Stacey, I hope that you're recuperating well. No, it's not a private balcony, but it is a couple of doors down from our uh, cabin, so. It could kind of be a private cabin, though, a balcony for all of us, though. Oh, good. Thank you, Timothy, for letting me know that. I appreciate it. Yes, Paul, we are on the Island Princess. Oh, Eddie Albert, that is so cool. He had an alligator go with him. Aw, Anthony, thank you for missing me. I appreciate that. Tim, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. As we go into the bridge, I'm going to be quiet. Anthony Smith, thank you for the super chat. We, we didn't really have extensions of it being what it was when we started. Uh, lot, lot space, LA. Those are the new ones over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if I should move this. I hope you guys can see that. I don't think they can. 
Here we go. And we walk now under the bridge. Oh, Sherry, thank you for the sit chat. That's right, Edward. We're going to get low, low, down to the ground. Oh, Marlene, you're so welcome, dear. Thing he's shorter than how the camera was. <laughs> you, you just heard the. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Heather, thank you. Everybody's laughing at you, Don. Poor Eagle, what's up, Mr. Robinson? Can't wait to see it. <laughs> so you can edit it. Hold it. Yes, Don is hilarious. We all know that. We all love him. <laughs> Marco, thank you. Make sure we try a protein burger at the in and out Okay. The first three are all together. <laughs> but it takes, it takes a half hour to go, like 20 minutes to go through one. No. Well, see, there's, there's the mule. And then we're going to walk into the over here. Good morning, Scott. Thank you. Yeah. You're a new speaker. I can do that. Jordan, thank you. So if you could have heard on the left are the new locks as Don was schooling us all. And uh, we'll be going to the right. Patrick, thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah, we didn't get it before we left. We're watching him. They're watching James Gunn, that's going to be exciting. <laughs> Angie, I can't answer that for Don if he's going to be on the Vloggers Cruise or not. He is. He already committed. Oh, uh, did he commit? Yeah. All right, so then I can say it. He committed. Or I don't know if we're going to have him committed. Not, Not sure. Sure <laughs> <laughs> uh, Timothy, I wish you the greatest of luck. Yeah, the cost, um, in one of the meetings, they were saying that it cost them $302,000 to just go through the locks. So yeah, let that sink in. $302,000. Aw, Marco, thank you. I thought it was that I got the ship with this logo, and then it's like, 
I'm almost hoping that Tony. I'm almost hoping Tony will go get me my desk chair so I could sit and marry. But we'll see. Anthony, this cruise is 14 days. No, the ship is only 44% uh, occupied. Our next bucket cruise is maybe med. Oh, look who I look who rolled in. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Hey, so the, the thing that they told us in the presentation is to think of this as a water bridge that raises ships up 85 feet and then it drops it. Well, the whole lake is the water bridge. The locks are elevators. We go up 85 feet and then down 85 feet. Help me visually. Hi, honey. Please don't. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you just a little wet. No, I don't want to be wet. If I wanted to be wet, I would have stand, stood out there with you. Enough for two seconds. Thank you. Thank you. It's like a salmon ladder. A salmon ladder. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello. They're saying it's getting a little blurry. But I, it's fine on my... Yeah. Yeah, so guys, we're on ship internet, of course. So if it doesn't last, it doesn't last. But just thought we'd make the attempt to show you the, uh, the process for people that... Don't want to come down to Panama or are curious. Give me the desk chair. Yes, I will. I'm going to change uh, my shirt. Yeah, awesome. Too. Thank you. Are you going to take that? Well, yeah. Here, I'll put it in my I pocket. I guess. I carry it by okay. the Panama Canal. Look at all the information shown. All right. I'm afraid to move the camera, but I will show you Don. Say hello, Don. Morning, everybody. Doesn't he have the coolest hat? What's the temperature? What do you think it is? About 80? About 80? About 75, 80 Yeah. So I guess I'll take that rain. Because, yeah. A little cool. It's nice. <laughs> yes, Donna has a very cool hat. I love it. Yes. Howdy, everybody. <laughs> Don has his adventure hat on. That's right. It only cost me every cent I had in my wallet. <laughs> Keith Merkel, thank you. All right, so Kathy said, if you look to the port or star si starboard side of the ship at water, when you start to enter the first lock, you will see the old folding bridge. That's interesting. No, Gordon, we're not doing, uh, so it is, <laughs> it is coming back from uh, LA back to Florida, but we are not on that one. There are a few people on the ship though that are doing that. <laughs> I think we're going, is it three locks we're going through? Yeah. Yeah. We're going through three locks. Three locks of this and three of the other. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I know Tony needs to get a Panama hat also. He did not when he was there. True story. I bought this hat for Tony and he turned it down and regretted it the rest of the day. That's right. And look how cold Don looks in it. There you go. I don't look good in it. <laughs> but it's raining. <laughs> it does look good, though. <laughs> I could not. I could not look more like a tourist yesterday. I had my cruising with Don T-shirt. I had a, a Panama hat that said Cartagena. Cartagena. Oh goodness, Melissa Hearn. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hello, cruise ship in Italy. Say hi to Tinkerbell for me. Miss her on this cruise. Yes, Tinker is in the house somewhere here. Tampa Steve, what's going on? It's 
raining in Scotland too. They just want them to say that they're with us as well. Isn't it always raining in Scotland? I think so. <laughs> oh, Miss C, thank you. Creepy, what's going on? I'm trying to be quiet because I'm coming through the locks. It's like you're in the library. My husband, my husband is the best. He is the best ever. Uh, wherever you want me to sit, I'll sit there. Yeah, it's easier. Tony just brought me the dust chair. He's awesome. Good morning. Good morning. No, 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 no. Oh, very nice. <laughs> to say goodbye. Oh, we're going to leave it running through the locks. I can kind of see the chat, y'all. But the GoPro is still running. Uh, the only other creators on board that I know of is uh, my man Don. Don T. Th Did you get all the super chats? Thanks for all the super chats, everybody. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. <clears throat> First Sergeant Richard, thank you for the super chat. Have a great cruise. Thanks for the live stream, Tony and Jenny. Gigi and I will see you in a few weeks with Don. How about that? Or see Don in a few weeks. Angela Spica, thank you for the super chat. Uh, somebody asked what time it is. It's 8.39 here. We're in the central time zone. I wonder how much battery is left on the GoPro. for the lock. Huh? Uh, Larry, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Been thinking about you, buddy. Yeah, if you guys end up with a kind of blurry internet, just refresh, uh, and that's usually the way to correct it. But yeah, we're on uh, ship Wi-Fi, so. Bonnie, I'm on deck 10. Um, I guess this is, well, yeah, I heard about the secret balcony on the app. We're gonna try to check that out once we get through the first locks. Yeah, the plan, so this takes all day. So there's two sets of locks, one on the Atlantic side. So then we'll be uh, kind of in the lake area, we'll be elevated. We haven't been through the first lock yet. That's what's right in front of us. Ooh. <laughs> There's a new rain spout on the deck above us. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll, uh, these first locks will elevate us up 85 feet, and then we'll transition through Gaton Lake, I believe it's called Gaton Lake. And then eventually, when we get close to Panama City, uh, near the Pacific, we'll use another set of locks to... Uh, be lifted down 85 feet into the Pacific Ocean. So the whole process takes, I think they said it would be like four or five o'clock before we get even to Panama City. So we're going to, uh, I think, get through this in the first two hours, probably go to the cabin and film some from the balcony, look for that uh, aft deck and film some. And 
who knows if uh, if if it's uh, if it's feasible. Maybe we'll do the going through the other locks later, but not sure. Not sure. Your mom is on. My beautiful mother, Ma, I wish you were here checking out uh, Panama Canal. It's so, uh, so cool. So cool. Love you, Ma. Happy early Mother's Day. Drinking Tang Don because I'm an astronaut. I feel like I missed the super chat. Uh, thanks for the super chats, everybody. Yeah. Bob's Creative Days, thank you for the super chat. Where does this cruise start in? We started in Fort Lauderdale and we will end up in uh, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Looking forward to it for a few days in LA. Now I just got the uh, crystal light orange Panama Canal and Tang, a winning combination, not sponsored. Bless you. Now, if the weather would hold like this, it would be nice. I would take it for the whole two deals. Yeah, it wasn't Jenny. I don't think it was Jenny who sneezed, but thank you. No, I, there was a sneeze, but it wasn't. Yeah. It's time to get up, everybody. <laughs> Let's give you guys a quick look around. We'll get right back to the locks, but uh, yeah. The Crew's got a little spot down there they can uh, they can check out. Got a lot of folks on deck 10 here. And then uh, deck 11, you can kind of see it without me tilting the, the camera. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's a very communal uh, experiencing this thing together, which uh, is that cruise life. Of course, you, I know you guys want to see our friend DT down there. Don Terrace in the Cartagena hat. Looking good. <laughs> keep that. Keep the... Karen Powers, thank you so much for the super chat. Much love from Darren uh, Martell and I. We so appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the, the adventure here. This is, uh, this is definitely, I'm way more excited than I thought it would be. Uh, we are on Instagram. I've been posting some interesting 360 stuff there. It's uh, the same name except no spaces. La Lido Loca. Uh, no goals uh, for the live stream. I just thought uh, anytime we get the opportunity to share something cool, uh, we try to go live with it. And uh, this is certainly something that we haven't done before and I know a lot of people haven't. So uh, yeah, I'm just putting it out here for anybody to enjoy, uh, whether it's 700 or 2000 or whatever. Uh, no goals for the live stream today. Just wanted to be with the local fam as we did this first, uh, it's the first for all of us. So, or at least for Jenny and I. Uh, my boy Gregory, what's up my son? Panama Canal. Now you have to read the 700 McCullough book. That was the secret live stream uh, punishment. If our son showed up, everybody has to read that 700 page book. Uh, David, I'm no good with stock advice. I do own cruise stock, but uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be wary of that. Uh, but uh, some of the stocks are down right now and hopefully they trim back up, but you never know. It's, a, it's gambling in a different way. So uh, if you got the money and the inclination and the the uh, the ability to take the risk, maybe so, but hard to know. This is a full transit. The partial transit, Julie, I believe they just go into Gaton Lake and maybe they do some excursions in uh, that area and then they turn around and come back. 
Jan, it's the ship's internet. The, the, the camera's very sharp. It's just uh, when you're streaming on ship internet, sometimes it's, uh, it's blurry. Refresh, though, that sometimes helps the blurriness. Yeah, so Tina, there's no excursions in the canal for us. There are other, like the, when this, this ship, when it goes to LA, it's going to turn around and come back. And on the trip back, they are going to be doing some excursions in the canal, but our trip doesn't have excursions in the canal. Here we go. Look at this. This is a trip. All right, let me, I'm going to run this other camera too. Yeah, so they told us in the presentation the other day that you see the little things that look like train cars. Those are called mules. And each one of those mules costs two million dollars each. And Don, how many how many mules on the thing? One hundred mules. And basically they're not to pull the ships through the locks, they're actually counter stabilizers. So there's gonna be a mule on each side of the ship making sure that the uh, ship does not touch the sides. And so if you look straight ahead, you can see that there is a ship raised up drastically higher than us. So that's the whole process. There's three locks here at the Gaton Locks, and uh, that's the whole point, uh, to get you up that 85 feet. I think you can see over to the right there on the, the lock on the right, you see the water uh, moving out. I think the ship that we see on the right might be, it might be getting lowered uh, to come this way. So this is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's much clearance, but I don't think there's much clearance for these ships in the locks. I think it's going to be, you know, feet, if not inches, uh, in between. We've got uh, 1,100 folks in here and only 648 light. Look. I got Jenny down to Central America. All you gotta do is hit the like button to participate in this. Let's get to a thousand likes, guys. You can do it. Why did they use the locks? So the Panama Canal is here so the ships don't have to go all the way around the southern tip of South America to get from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. And uh, so basically they had to dig a canal through a, a big jungle here in Panama. And uh, it, it's just not easy. And so they have to use the locks to really create this water bridge scenario uh, so that they can get ships from the Atlantic to the Pacific. I think this project was started in the early 1900s. I don't know if anybody out there knows the day, but like 1910 or 1911, something like that. <clears throat> 1914. Thank you, Dave. Hello, beautiful Jenny. Do I hold that camera away here? It's not that heavy. Yeah, I just want to take a drink. You know how it, yeah, it, just lean it forward a little bit. Yeah, we're going through the left locks. It looks like this tanker <clears throat> or this cargo ship on the right is coming through. Take it, but you want to read the chat? I'll hold the camera. You want me to read the chat? You read the chat. You know how this is kind of emotional, actually. 1,000 likes. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. The best. 
It definitely has a humidity yeah. here, though. Like, you can feel that jungle uh, vibe. Yeah, but that's why I was saying before, I'm so glad that it rained, because it's a little cool. Hey, Todd, what's going on? David uh, wants to know, can you tell us the history of Panama? I don't, I don't have any of that committed. Yeah. I just went through that one presentation. When we get back home, we'll, we'll I didn't do a read, little bit more. I didn't read the uh, McCullough book. I bought it, 700 pages in book. I guess we're entering and that's how they're announcing us. What I think is really neat, if you guys look on the right, like you uh, can... Someone said to move back out. It was a better picture. Move back out? Let me see. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll probably just stay here because I think it's going to be good for the long... We don't want to... We don't want to obstruct anybody else. But what I think is neat is, on the right, uh, you can see the water line on that ship, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's a great question, Maureen. Are we really going to fit through here? That's, uh, I'm sure we will. Let's see. It does look like a really tight fit, right? Yeah, I need to, I need to read the book also. I just, uh... I got too busy and I, the 700 pages felt daunting, but I feel like it would go quick. So again, check on the right there, all that water that's coming out under that little archway is the water that they're dropping out of that lock that the red ship's coming from. I don't think we've started lifting it. I think we have to get in that first. You think so? Straightening it up for the shit, for the the thing in. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm very much like that. Everything seems boring to me until I get there. So that's the fun. Uh, that's the fun of it. I'll talk it down till we do it. <clears throat> Now, what I understand, the big difference between the old locks and the new locks is that all the water that's dropped in and out of these locks just goes out to sea. So it's a little bit of a conservation challenge from a water perspective. The new locks have a system of recycling the water to be used again and again. So that's why they're preferred and possibly more efficient. And so there's some question as to how frequently these old locks will be used. So if you can get a cruise on the old locks, it may be a limited time only kind of deal. <coughs> Brad, thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Much appreciated. <clears throat> My voice is going already. Hold <clears throat> this camera for a second, baby. Thank you. Feel battery switcher. Wow, you just switched the GoPro battery like a pit crew. <laughs> a man of plans, the best pal in Panama Canal. That's pretty cool. Yeah, do you guys any guesses as to what the toll <clears throat> any guesses as to what the toll is for this cruise ship to get through here? I 
I'll give you a hint. I think our port fees were like $300 each and there's a thousand of us on the ship, so. Yeah, I think the wonder that the new canal, the new locks are bigger, so I think, uh, yeah, definitely a wonder the seas would not fit through here. Yeah, I think it was like 306,000 or something like that they mentioned, the other, or 302, it might have been the 302. I get mad when the Sun Pass charges me four, you know, four bucks going across the state of Florida, but I guess 302,000. <clears> oh, Jenny told you already. Nice. Uh, there is a pilot that came on board, so I'm not sure, you know, a lot of the guiding is going to be done with these mules on the side, keeping the ship in the center of the lock, and then uh, I'm assuming the propulsion is still controlled from the bridge, but there will be, there's a pilot on board, so there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Ah, Philip B, thank you for the super sticker. Ronald B, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for the view. Oh, I lost it. Hold on. Just to be there with you, but not able to. This will have to do. Yeah. Sorry you weren't here, buddy. I can't remember what the charge fee is based on. Might be, might be the tonnage. Is it donkeys? Am I saying the wrong thing? Is it donkeys or mules, Don? I thought it was mules, right? Mules, yeah, okay. Don's not live. Well, he is alive, but he's not uh, live streaming. Oh, awesome. It's not cold here. It's probably, I don't know, 80 degrees, maybe. Feels fairly warm. Based on length, says Clara. G. Cropper, thank you so much for the super sticker. Very kind. Yeah, Tracy, Don's doing well. Oh, nice. Bonnie B's watching us on the webcam, so uh, let us know if you can see it. Uh, Motley Brew, yep. Uh, my full time job is uh, this entertainment, education, going to Panama Canal and showing you guys. Since 2018, La Lida Loca Media. Yeah, this is wild. Oh, they're opening the look. They're opening the. Uh, they're opening the doors for the ship to come out. I'm so glad there was a ship there when we approached. This is amazing. Drone LM, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, it does seem narrow, right? But it's really only two ships wide and a couple uh, road tracks, really. Gates, gates is the right word, thanks. I'm a little overwhelmed with it, so can't uh, figure it out. It's so wild to see that big ship's water line and the ballast down at the bottom. That's crazy. That's crazy. How many ships pass through the canal in a day? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't have a good fact sheet on the canal. Just stuff I remember from the presentation the other day. Uh, so th they said that we would hit the uh, first lock at 9 and we would be done by 1045. So just to get through these three locks could be a couple hours. So uh, I'm going to live stream as long as I can until this battery dies and then uh, go from there. I didn't bring an external battery, which I'm kicking myself for. Yeah, John, I think you're right. I think it's a two-hour two hour deal. Hey, just a reminder, if, uh, if the stream goes blurry, just do a refresh. Uh, that's, again, the Internet trying to push all the streams out to everybody. So, Yep, 
You know, I came out here around 7. We started the live stream at 8.30, uh, but I, I've been running a GoPro trying to approach the first bridge. So I've got three cameras running right, well, two in the live stream. So we're, we're trying to catch a bunch of footage. It was pouring down rain, so there wasn't a lot of uh, there wasn't a lot of folks out when uh, when it started. So we were able to get a good spot. <clears throat> Thank you, Bob. How many ports before the canal, and how long did it take to get to the canal? We left Fort Lauderdale, and we had two sea days. Uh, so that, and then on day four, we stopped yesterday in Columbia, and now we're here at the canal. So like five. Uh, five days, then we have another sea day tomorrow, and then we start making port stops in Mexico. So we end up in Los Angeles on the 11th. So we still have 10 more days. <laughs> Paul's right behind me. 34 ships will pass through the locks today. Thanks, Paul. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I think in our lock in front of us, they're dropping the water level to match the water level of us right now outside of the lock so that we can make our way in. Then they'll raise us up. Uh, and then, of course, the ship on the right, they just let all the water out of that lock. And uh, now they're making their way out of that lock. You can see the mules keeping it steady. And uh, wow, it's a trip. I mean, it's just tripping me out. It's so cool. Yeah, you know, anytime you see something that's very interestingly engineered, you're like, that came out of somebody's brain. I mean, you know, let's take a moment and celebrate the creativity of human beings, right? It's amazing that uh, people are able to use their skills and talent uh, to figure out how to, you know, cut off having to go around South America to get between the oceans. And uh, a lot of people passed away along the, the building of this, and it's... Uh, it really is one of the, the, the modern marvels of technology, what we're seeing right here. And so, uh, yeah, it, take that in. That's amazing. Mary Jenkins, thank you so much for the super chat. We're going to be go uh, rising. So they have to rise us up to get into the lake. And then when we go through the Pacific locks tonight near Panama City, uh, they'll be dropping us back down three locks in this series, and then I think there's still three locks on the other side. Wow, that is wild. Uh, so what keeps the ships from hitting on the side? You see the little things that look like railroad cars? That's their job. There's two sets, uh, there's a set on each side, so two on each side, and uh, their, their job is to keep them in the middle of that, that exit. I'll probably have to do an edit vi edited video to uh, you know, get some close-ups and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not gonna mess with the live stream too much, guys. We're, I've got a camera in my left hand, we got GoPro running, so this is, this is about the best shot we got for the live stream. Uh, it's a pretty good shot, too. Look at this ship, holy moly. Gas tanker. Wow, look how close it is to the side up there, guys, like where the LPG is. Holy moly. Hey, how's it going? Good. Georgina, thank you for the super chat. The bells are the mule. Oh, okay, the bells that we hear are the mules communicating with each other. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. You don't want the gas uh, tanker to hit the sides. Oh, man, that's so cool. Yeah, so the, there are like, uh, well, uh, ahead of us, it did, well, we haven't seen the lower part of it, but I, I do think there are like bumpers on the side. It's like kid bowling here. They got little bumpers that slide the ship through. Mark Perry, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. 
Thank you, Jenny. My hand is up. Do you want a drink of juice? Yeah, it captures everything. I try to lean a little bit forward just so like I could get your face. So I'm assuming this ship will have to clear before we start making our way. It does look like they're continuing to drop the water level in the lock in front of us. So once we get in the lock, it'll probably take a, maybe it'll take, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes, but you'll be able to see the elevation move up. There was actually, there's a story, and I think it's the, still in the early 1900s where a swimmer wanted to swim the locks and they charged him like less than a dollar to swim through. I can't remember but that trivia, but that's pretty interesting. Does Carnival offer a trip to Los Angeles and a return trip? I'm not sure. I'm sure they do. Uh, yeah, I mean, the most. Yeah, I think most cruise lines will do that. Yeah, the charge was 38 cents. There you go. Board Cube, one of two. Thank you for the super chat. Been lucky enough to experience the Panama Canal cruise twice. Uh, nothing makes a cruise ship feel small like a loaded cargo container. Yeah, that thing is huge. Uh, you're in a real treat today. Thanks. Oh yeah, this is this is amazing. It's a so nice to be uh, checking this off the bucket list and having this experience because uh, again, that I, you know that tanker is the biggest ship I've seen that close ever. Pretty amazing. Oh yeah, and so you got the mules on the back stabilizing it too. That's pretty cool. The toll was uh, three hundred two thousand dollars for our cruise split amongst uh, the thousand passengers and uh the funny thing is each passenger has to go to the front of the ship and pay that 300 their 300 dollars in quarters uh they have a big like toll booth there and you drop the quarters in it takes a little while but i think we're all paid up thank you rick for the super chat uh what does this say <laughs> thanks for sharing this is amazing added to my wish list Thank you. I am uh, feeling very, uh, very blessed. Yeah, man, to go around South America, that would be crazy. Can you see the ships in the new locks on your left? No, we just see kind of, uh, just kind of see the jungle over there. Here, JB, I'll hold it. I can hold it. You want to extend it all the way up? Lost like two feet at a shot. Which is okay. I guess. We well, should have seen the look Jenny just gave me over the camera holding. Jenny, come give me that look over here. No, we, I won't turn off the camera. Oh, Mary Beth, what's going on? And Mary Beth's here too. You shout out too, Mary Beth. Hold on. Hey, this is our friend Mary Beth. Let me show you and then we'll go back to the locks. Oh, wait, we can't. We can't. Mary Beth. That's okay. How about that? That's the top of Mary That's Beth's good head. Enough. That's good enough. Back to the locks. <laughs> yeah, we're going through the old locks. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, it was crazy having to go to the bank and get three hundred dollars in quarters, but you, well, six hundred really. But Mary Beth saw your hat, Mary Beth. All right, so I'm assuming it's our turn now that they've cleared the other large ship. Sit down for a minute. Yeah, when we get like, start to go into it. Oh, really? Move your feet. Yeah, so we don't stop in Panama tomorrow, unfortunately. On the uh, cruise back, they're going to be stopping in Panama. Yeah, 300 and quarters on a plane would have been crazy. I think we're okay. Uh, Barbara, I haven't gone all the way through it, so it's hard to say whether it's worth doing, but just seeing that big uh, passenger ship uh, or cargo ship, that was pretty amazing. Clay wants to know if Jenny B's doing okay. She, she's like, 
Oh, I love the humidity. <laughs> Both of us are not, we, we don't love the heat, but uh, this is worth it. I uh, know the quarters is a joke. Please don't go get quarters for your Panama Canal uh, trip. Ty says hello, Jenny B. Like this lock anticipation is killing me. Uh, Blint, Blint, I haven't seen mosquitoes yet. I mean, this is definitely the spot for them, so. Uh, Tara, I'll, I'll be doing an update on Have to Lose. Been uh, doing all the same stuff on the cruise. We've been having a really good cruise food-wise, tracking and all that stuff, getting steps. So, yeah, probably Monday there'll be a Have to Lose update. It's getting warm, guys. <sighs> yeah, there's tons of lock systems, especially, uh, I would say, rivers everywhere. Uh, but I know there's a lot in the U.S. rivers, Great Lakes. Marco Zaff, thank you so much for the super sticker. Dean thinks the full transit is the way to go. Went to Gaton Lake, it would have been better. Uh, uh, it went by quick, but yeah. Good morning, Emma. Yeah, we are driving on the left. We're on the Island Princess. It's a little humid dark theme. I mean, it's to be expected. I think it's going to intensify as the day goes on. I'm sure Royal does a Panama Canal transit. I think like, most cruise ships do do that. It's the main way to get their ships from the East Coast to the West Coast or from Florida to California. Uh, we're on a 14 day cruise. I don't know how, I, 14 days, 15 nights. I'm not sure if it's 13 days, 14 nights, but we started, uh, well, we end on the 11th of May. I think we started on the 27th, maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, we're just a little north of the equator. Charlie, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, there was a power failure for about five minutes yesterday when we were docking in Cartagena. Uh, during the docking process, the power got knocked off, but I think we were out of power for, if, if that, five minutes wasn't, wasn't really that much. I was packing up my bag and the power went out and by the time I got my bag packed, the power came back on. The captain came on, made an announcement and said that it was during the uh, tying up process. Thanks Marco. Yeah, I wasn't sure how the internet would do for us, but I figured if I could show this to you guys, I would be happy to do it. Uh, so please, if you're here, uh, show some love by hitting the like button. Of course, if they're just finding this, uh, please subscribe. All that stuff helps, uh, helps us bring this kind of video to you. So. Uh, uh, we love doing this, and uh, we, we'd love as many people as possible to see it. So if you could hit the like button, subscribe, that would be rocking. Feels like we're at a standstill right now, but again, it might be the clearing of the other ship. And if you notice, the ship that's on the left has a second lock, and they're even higher up than we started, which is amazing. I can't wait to see that on some of these cameras and run a, run a time lapse and watch that other ship be lifted up. Yeah, I think the equator runs through 
uh, Colombia, of course, Ecuador. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, several cat, several cat. Appreciate it. Shan, thank you so much for the super chat. Super sticker. Yeah, so the serenade that he's going through the canal. Again, I think most of the cruise lines offer a, a canal crossing. Thank you for giving the 1,000 likes. You do win the internet. You know, I, I'm also assuming there's probably the hooking up the mule, the mule process going on. Don't know what's going on on the side of the the side of the, the ship. <laughs> See, I use what I weigh when I buy. Costco, I'm, I'm going to keep the camera locked in just so it's a steady, steady shot. But uh, basically, you got trees to the right, trees to the left. What you can see forward is basically it. Timar, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. I might have to get my hat. Uh, hey, Tony and Jenny, thanks for the inspiration and all the great videos. We watch you daily. We plan to cruise to Panama Canal 2024. She's tra she travels and enjoy. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for the super chat. I don't know if the Mardi Gras would fit these smaller locks, but maybe the larger locks. I think that's a, I think it's a cargo thing in front of us, cargo ship. I can't tell from the distance. It's not a cruise ship for sure. We're in a waiting pattern here. Elder, Elder Gerald Watkins, thank you so much for the super chat. car carrier head that's cool the only bummer here on deck 10 is we don't have good access to the speaker the uh the lecturer is kind of talking through the process but i think you have to be up on deck uh deck 11 to hear it Sun's starting to come out now. Yeah, Bonnie, I'm the same way. This is a, this is way cooler here in person. Again, I'm assuming the the little wait time here is to get the mules hooked up and to get everything get everything ready for the process. the super chat it just went thank you susan for the super super sticker appreciate it you guys i'm going to step back in the shade for a second i don't want to move the camera uh but i'll be right back to answer more i'm gonna take just a two minute break out of the sun and uh i'll come right back but yeah uh donna pearson thank you for the super chat just gonna get out of the sun for a second Good. 
So I've got my computer and stuff, yeah, hard, so hard drives with that. me, yeah, so I'll, I'll copy it off, and uh, this one, you can actually edit on the phone pretty good off of this camera, but I like to use their, I like to use their software on the laptop, yeah, yeah. so yeah, I'll copy this off. And I'm just thinking of dropping on the bikes, it's like, you, know, oh, that's you get tough. intimate and Wi-Fi, and all that sort of yeah, stuff, yeah. so I think I'm just going to say, you know, look at one of the guys, takes a lot of check with it, yeah. I'll just take a mini hard drive, and then yeah. just... That's a way to do it. Yeah, I've got like like a little rugged. It's only about that big. It's about a terabyte. Yeah, that's to copy stuff cool. off. Yeah, yeah. Like carry. Yeah, yeah. Just I do. For cruises, cars. we do carry a lot of stuff around. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I could imagine on a bike, you don't have that that, that kind of opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You say you're, you're live streaming. At the yeah, yeah. We got. What do we got? Uh, where's that? Where's that? We got 1,800 people out on YouTube. YouTube. 1,800 right. folks from around the world checking out the. The thing we're not i don't think we're moving yet everybody i think they're still hooking up the mules uh and so uh we're kind of in a holding pattern static shot but look here's my hand see i guess you guys could look at us for a second Ooh. what's up everybody yeah it's, it's starting to get hot and sunny out here of course i have this thing uh lifted up but waiting on the canal, waiting on the canal. don come say hi real quick while we're waiting on the canal about this distance is good. Hey. It's done. How many times have you been through the canal? This is my fourth. Fourth time for Don. I don't know if you can hear us back here, but yeah, uh, it's, it's the best time, right? Because we're here. Yep. That's we're right. having a good time. Look, you got my hat. I'm all set. Ready we're not go. going through. They never let two ships in this box at the same time. In case oh, we gotta wait for one has a power clear. failure or something. Okay. So that's why we're waiting. You'll see the mules pull up in a second, and then we'll get going. But. Okay, that's cool. All right, that makes sense. So Don dropping some knowledge on us. We will not enter the locks until that car carrier clears the locks. So never two ships in the locks at the same time in case there's some sort of trouble. Uh, but all right, you guys look at the shot. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get my hat. I'll be right back. Mr. Bobby, thank you for the super chat, sir. Oh, we're glad to have you along. The Heidi Tony went to get his hat, thanks. I know. He'll hurry. Good thing we're only about four four cabins in. Great time in Alaska. Thank you, Claywood. Yeah, he'll probably get some sunblock at the same time. Having a great time. Thanks, Ty. Jim, Jim Great Elk Motors, thank you. Uh, Clint, you know, we're, we're in Panama and it's the ship internet, so I think it's pretty good. Hey, 
AK from Liverpool. Hey Sue Soto, hope you're doing well. Right now where Tony just has the live on his phone. Oh, Larry Thomas, what's going on, sir? We've been thinking about you. Yeah, Cat Rose, it's it's pretty amazing. Thank you, Lainey. All right, Tony B is back. So I've just hooked my laptop up to my phone to charge it. So I'm using my laptop as a big a battery. Big battery. So we get some more of the show in front of us. Dorothy, thank you so much for the super chat. I think the temperature's gotta be in the 80s. It's getting pretty muggy. Oh, that's cool, Sheila. So it does look like that ship's exiting the lock. Mark and Jane, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> Yeah, again, we feel very lucky and blessed to be able to do this and take you guys along. So thank you so much for you guys jumping in with the likes and the subs and the super chats. So I don't think they'll fill. I don't think they'll fill the lock in front of us because we've got to go in at the same level. And uh, yeah, you know, like I, I try to pack light, and I know that my laptop will work as a battery. And I don't normally try to do a three-hour live stream, so. Uh, the less stuff, the better. I've gone through periods where I've carried a ton of batteries and not used them, so make these decisions game time. Uh, let's see. It's harder to see the screen. <laughs> What's up, Thomas Henry? <laughs> hey, you're doing great, Scott. Big shout out to the blue crew keeping the room sane. 1,600 thumbs up, 1,700 people. You guys are doing great. Yeah, Don's hat was cool, Teresa. You got it uh, in Cartiena yesterday with, uh, man, the street vendors were everywhere. The people with the hats and the dominoes and the bracelets. Uh, Jim, I say it's probably because we're streaming uh, you know, on ship live from the middle of Central America. Make sure you refresh. Like, if your screen gets blurry or anything, uh, give YouTube a chance to give you a better signal. Hit the refresh button. The French cut later. Yeah, is that where the it looks like the stair step in the side of the rocks? I think I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna run a camera on the side of uh, our balcony. So hopefully, it's on both sides of that. So uh, if you guys are just uh, arriving over on the right, there was a ship that made their, its way through the right side and passed us a huge, uh, a huge tanker. So I think they're clearing the ship on our side so that they can, uh, so that we can go through. Uh, Linda, thank you for the super chat. Our 2020 Panama Canal cruise was canceled. Thanks for taking us along on this one. Yeah, absolutely. The ship in the front is out, so we should be some seeing some action. There was a bug that just flew near my head, so. Far end of Gaton Lake. Yeah, I want to see that. I saw a picture of that, so hopefully I get to see that in real life. I do agree with that, Greg. This internet is uh, off the chain. I, I did a speed test. I think it was uh, six down and nine up, which is uh, not as fast as on the Sky Princess, but it's really pretty fast for cruise internet. Uh, nine up is really good and really why we're able to do this stream. There will, there will be some moments of buffering and stuff, but overall it's really great. What's up, Jim and Becky, Brian's parents? No, not Brian Beck. 
Another Brian. I don't know if I'll get many steps in today, but I think I'm gonna sweat a lot today. <laughs> the process takes a couple hours. So basically where you see that big ship leaving uh, off in the distance, we'll be there in about an hour and a half or two hours. How about that? So it's, it's a slow roll. Yeah, I think uh, this, it's probably a very enjoyable, um, very enjoyable as a time lapse where you can watch it in 10 or 15 minutes opposed to, uh, opposed to the two hours. But uh, look, if you could do it live with us, why not, right? While we have a break in an action, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and do that pan request. Tony's hand pan. Jungle to the left of me and jungle to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. That's really all it is, guys. Just uh, they, they cut this thing straight through uh, jungle. I don't have sunscreen on Heidi, and I'm, I'm sure at some point our cabin's really close to here, so I'll go back and. But yeah, right now I'm kind of out there in the. Uh, yeah, I've never watched paint dry a Fran, but it does, it, it seems like this could fit that bill. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I feel like I need to do little finger dances. Da, 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 there's something happening. Ooh, look, a bat. I can hear the muffled voice of the uh, lecturer, so I don't know if that means something's happening. Yeah, Marianne, we haven't had a lot of hurry up yet. It's just been a slow roll to this spot. <laughs> Floppy hat covered my head. Yeah, I got my head covered now. My neck's kind of covered, so I got my hat on. I went and got my stuff. Got a hat on. Doesn't completely cover my neck, but it covers up the bald spot. So. Tend to be smiling, wave. So. We're doing it. Are we going east to west or west to east? We're going east to west. Yeah, we're getting there. The water level is uh, doing its thing. Yeah, it does look like they're adding water to level us up, right? You guys are right. Oh, you're welcome, Grammy. We're on the uh, Island Princess. Yeah, uh, chat like live stream on the phone's a lot even different than on the computer. You only see a couple of chats, so if we miss you, apologies. We could order some stuff on the medallion here. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow our mind. Good morning, Minnesota, Mickey. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, good morning, peeps. Thanks for letting us enjoy this with you. Wish I was with Miss Jenny. That's right. Or hi, Miss Jenny. We wish you were here too. Teresa H., thank you so much for this for chat. Enjoy your experience. Have a fantastic day. Fantastic shout out, Don. Fantastic. Lisa says hello. Lisa says hello. Is it what I imagined? I, you know, I didn't know what to think. I started seeing some pictures of it and doing some research and. Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, when you're here, again, like if you can contextualize it in the in the human experience that human beings did this thing, thought of this thing, figured out how to make this thing happen, and now we're standing on those shoulders, beneficiaries of that whole thing. It's heavy. I like it. I'm digging it. I dig it from that uh, in the feels kind of thing. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. I love you. <laughs> Step back. So all you got to step back one foot and we can see you. Hey! I wish you were here, honey. Mary Beth. Oop, I keep the camera. All right, we're getting a little crazy, yeah. All right, we're back. Oh, look, nothing happened, everybody. We thought something was happening. Gloria, thank you so much for the super chat.
Yeah, this is a pretty cool experience. Yeah, I guess that's the other difference. I think you make a good point. The new locks don't have the mules, I don't think. Yeah, so the transit through the locks isn't uh, a, you know, a straight line east to west, but uh, our journey is uh, starting in the east and ending in the west. Good point. We're in the little bend in central and northern uh, Southern America, South America. The clouds are setting in, starting to rain. We might have to back the camera up again, but we'll see. I don't know the official temp, but it's got to be in the 80s with, uh, with some humidity. That's true. I don't have my glasses on so I can read the chat, but you're right. I do see a ship off there in the distance, a blurry, blurry uh, type of a ship. This will be when we're on the other side going down. Yeah, I can't wait to, to see this whole rise and lowering of the elevation. So I don't know if we have to wait for this other ship to uh, come through or not. All right, I'm going to go quiet for a little bit, guys. I feel like a, a little voice break. I'll let you enjoy the views. It is starting to rain, so... Adjust. Alright, so the mules are on the way everybody, which is exciting. Thank you, Donna, for the super chat. Top away because of the rain. If you want to sit back there. Yeah, if you guys are looking for Jenny's contact info, it's jbarn at expediacruises.com. 82 degrees with 78 degree humidity. That seems about right. Here comes the mule. The mule. Oh, Wendy, thank you so much for the super sticker. When the mules start ringing their bells, we'll start to move. Perfect. Uh -huh. 
that's charged.
See the tops of the gates going down. Oh, here we go. The gates are opening, guys. Wow, it's pretty cool. That's right, let the adventure begin. It's just slightly raining here, but not too bad. Did you answer Stephanie's super chat, Jenny? Okay, perfect. Uh, GoPro right now, the last GoPro I bought was a GoPro 9. I have a 7 and a 9. They keep uh, improving the technology, but the, the, night, the, the 9's working pretty good. Guggen Rob wants to know how the casino's going, Jenny. Jenny says, not bad. Best time of the year to travel a canal. I don't know what time's any better than the other. This is our first experience. Uh, I'm assuming the experience is going to be very similar. You might have some warmer times, but the going through the canal will probably be like this. Oh, you're welcome, Yarn. Hey, Tony and Rachel's Travel Adventures. Good to see you. Oh, we hear bells ringing. Good morning, Mosey. Oh, we are moving, y'all. The ship is on the move. Into the locks we go. Is there a lock singing song? What's up, Timothy Thompson? Goodbye, Atlantic Ocean. At the end of this journey, we will no longer be in you. Robin Guga on the Bliss with 1,900 passengers. Very nice. That's only about 900 more than us. We're right at 1,000. You guys are rocking. 18, uh, 1,800, uh, almost 1,900 over here and almost the same amount of likes. If you're new here and you haven't hit the like, haven't subscribed, please do so if you love uh, this kind of cruise content. We'll take you to South America, yo. How about that? How about that? Look at this. Down on the, the right there, bottom right toward the, well, the right side of the ship, the starboard side of the ship, you can see the, the mule driver and the mule.
Thank you, Tampa Steve. Tall tower on the left. My left? Yeah, I, I'll keep reminding if, if the admins get reminded too uh, every once in a while. If the, uh, if the picture isn't clear, make sure you refresh your browser. Uh, this is a live stream and uh, sometimes your connection to YouTube, YouTube's connection to you will go a little blurry and we are on the ship with uh, Wi-Fi. So just refresh and maybe it gets better, maybe not. Ah, oh, Beverly, you're having a really good cruise. It's been neat. Uh, what are we, four or five days into it? And uh, this ship's really cool. Old school design. Got a lot of, like, nice uh, dark woods. I really like it. And uh, we've seen some good entertainment. Food's been good. So, yeah, I can't complain. Anytime I can be with Jenny B, I'm excited. Did you read John's thing? What did he say? Uh, that reminds me, Tony, for anyway. How about that, to my now comment? <laughs> That's right. I apologize. How about that? I don't know how much the mule driver gets for his job. Well, Amy, you picked the right time because I think we just spent 40 minutes not doing anything. So this is this is the action. Bring the action. Sure they're up for a wage conversation. Doesn't everybody like to talk about how much money they make? I'm sure the mule driver's up for it too. <laughs> Somebody said it was 82 and something or 78 with, I can't remember. I think it's 80 and 70% humidity or something. Can you explain the mule again? Uh, so the mule, there's mules on both sides. I think there's six in total. Basically their job is to keep the ship in the middle of the lock. And so they're not pulling the ship through. I think the ship is pushing itself through, uh, but the mule's there for stability. It's a set of three locks and I think it'll take, uh, so once we stop here, they're gonna raise the water level so that we can get to that next level that you see there. So eventually we won't be able to see, well, I guess that's the water line midway up through the lock. So I assume that's how high we're gonna get raised. And then we'll go into the second lock and then into the third. And then we'll get into this thing called Gaton Lake. We're gonna keep transiting through the lake until we get over to near Panama City. And then there's another set of locks that we have to take to get lowered down to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, and that takes all day. I think we started uh, at like seven o'clock uh, and we go maybe to four or five o'clock. I don't know, Barbara P, what's next after this. I wanna make sure that we get through these locks on the live stream and uh, we'll probably uh, take a little break and get some brunch or something and then figure out where to go next. Definitely gonna be shooting it off the side of the uh, balcony. It is raining, and uh, but I, yeah, I wouldn't mind going and seeing what, I, I think I have to wait to the Pacific locks to get an aft shot of the locks, which I think would be neat. Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. Very kind. Yeah, I'm kind of a not interested in the Panama Canal cruise person either, and I've been resistive, but I wanted to go just so I could give you guys a perspective. And uh, it is really neat. You know, it's, uh, it's only one day out of a 14-day cruise. So you take that into consideration, but uh, yeah, it's a bucket list once in a lifetime kind of thing. I, I don't think it's a bad cruise, especially, I mean, what, what cruise is a bad cruise anyways, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. Jenny was saying, look how much higher that, that body of water is. It's amazing that those gates hold that water in such a way. Can you gamble going through the locks? I think they told us that the casino is open all day today. <laughs> Jenny said, yeah, it is. <laughs> I 
Uh, I think th so. David McCullough is the author of the Panama, the definitive uh, Panama Canal deal book. I think it's the Land Between the Seas. Name. Don is on the cruise. He's over there catching his footage just a little bit uh, to the right of us. What's up, Don? What's up, Loka fam? Don says, "What's up, Loka fam?" Scott Baker, thank you for the super chat. Just got off to Celebrity Apex, and man, chat message just went away. Hold on. And man, touched up. A man, a man touched all the pieces of your pizza at the pizza station and took none. Holy moly. I'd be losing my mind, too. I mean, at least uh, take the pizza. I mean, I hate eating pizza that somebody else has touched, but I'd do it, I guess. That's how much I love pizza. I'm just kidding. I'm not touching no touch pizza. I know, right? I need to put my hat back on. Yes, yeah, somebody said they're watching Don's lightning video. We had a big storm last night. Yeah, I was worried when I, you know, it was like 4 o'clock, and Jenny was like, yeah, it's crazy lightning outside. And I was worried we weren't going to have uh, an opportunity to show this, so I'm, I'm excited. Island Princess should be in the casino after me. I agree. <laughs> the Jenny B section. Ah, uh, Don's happy today. He's not cranky. Someone said you were cranky. They wanted to know if you were happy or cranky today. I said Don is happy. <laughs> no. Hey, Amy, how are you? We are on the Island Princess. Uh, All right, so Sully is saying, if you look to the right, you will see a partial path lock done. The French, French tried to build a parallel lock, but couldn't because of money. Trying to go through the mountain was hard. Yeah. smallest casinos ever but um it's well the the staff is amazing here i know christina maria that's pretty cool Josh said the Scarlet Lady Casino is going mucho small. Is it really? Yeah. This casino is pretty small. Yeah. Like it has a half uh, crafts table. Yeah, that's bizarre. Uh, Dean said he sees the ship in the...
uh, Charms World. Thank you for, to your grandfather. He helped build the rest of the I don't know, Moonlight, I don't know how they charge. Um, what we do know is $302,000 to get through the, the locks. extension cord to plug in your camera and we can continue the live stream from the balcony. <laughs> Yes, Regina, $302,000 for the locks. I, I know they're filling it up, so I wonder how subtle it is for the ship to rise up. For real. You can sit down. What? Sit for a little bit. Oh. Don, people loved your lightning show. Thank you. Yeah. There'll be a bigger one later. There'll be a bigger one later, he said. <laughs> uh, Dina, thank you. Can't wait to cruise with Jenny and Tony again. Dina, us too with you, all. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I know you're someplace. Oh, I just hit it. Sorry. Gonna get this in a second. Ah, uh, Kathy, you better get ready for your cruise tomorrow. <laughs> That's great adventures of unlikely fair. I made it. I made it have an earthquake. happening right now. Our our ship is raising to to the water level of the next lock. It's like when you want to say I'm king of the world. Hey John, thanks for the super chat. Um, Hawaii cruise, you know, because it goes out of California. It's good year round, depending on what you want to see over there. Hawaii always has some good temperatures. You may not want to go during their summer. Very humid. Nadine, this is a full transit in the old lot. Oh, it 
so don't sit down. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's another cargo one. Sheila Mars, it is my first time in the Pacific Ocean. Tanya Cook, thank you for the soup chat. Minnesota Mickey, thank you for the soup chat. Did they give you cream cheese with the locks? Tell Tony my joke. <laughs> That's funny. That is cute. <laughs> Guys, I'm back on the chat. Yeah, so our port fees are like 300 bucks. So there's a thousand passengers on, and I think the total is 302,000. Uh, SB just wants the, the name said. How about that? There you go, SB. Question Where does the trip end? Yeah, it's a round trip. Uh, well, it's not a round trip for us, but the ship ends in Los Angeles, and then it's going to be making the same trip back. Uh, we're going to stay in L.A. We're going to take a West Coast cruise. We're going to do some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be over for us quite yet. The rain's starting to fall a little harder, so maybe when we get through this lock, I might back us up under the awning. Yeah, no, it didn't take long to rise at all. I was, I was surprised. I can't wait. So I've got a couple other cameras, and I can't wait to see what it looks like sped up. Uh, West Coast Cruise is down the Mexican Riviera, so we're going to hit other ports that we haven't been to. We've never done uh, California down to the Mexican Riviera, so it's going to be fun. New stuff. Cuse Cruisers is here. What's up? Man, uh, 1979 watching, and then uh, more than that, liked it. So, uh, But look, if, you, if you're new here and you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. If you like, uh, if you like this uh, exotic South American, Central America footage of the Panama Canal, uh, please hit the subscribe button. There'll be more to come. More to come. Yep, 360 is getting a workout, guys. I'm holding it with one hand to try and do it. Try to read the chat. 
Welcome, Natalie Scruggs. Scruggs, glad to have you. So our gates are still closed. Or maybe they're opening now. I feel like we're moving forward. A well, no, the mules aren't moving, so. Oh, Keith, don't worry about it. If, if, if somebody doesn't want to like or subscribe, it's okay with us. No worries. Magnetic community, the people that are supposed to stick, stick, and the ones that aren't, aren't. Rod, it is a little boring, right? It's slow, it's like paint drying, but it's a, it's a engineering miracle. Like, I think I would have trouble watching this in real time. I would, uh, I mean, I don't mind watching it live. I think it's fun to all be here together. But like, if I was watching this as a recorded video, I'd be looking for a time lapse. I will, I'll put it, uh, I'll put the camera link in the, um, whatchamacallit. The funny thing is the person, the SB that's leaving, I already shouted them out. So, again, uh, probably not the right community for you. I hate to be like that too. But, yeah, if that's your attitude, then it might be best to move along. <laughs> kind of like baseball, much better in person. Absolutely. Hockey, too. It is. It's overcast. It's raining. It's nice. Oh, the gates are opening. In the lock? Oh, look, there's a dolphin in the lock, you guys. How about that? Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Something's jumping in the locks. Kevin, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I lost the message though. Yeah. Doesn't smell at all here. All right, that's your last uh, snarky comment, Rod. One more and we'll have to ask you to leave. I'm glad you got to take Jenny with you on this cruise. Any plan on taking Jenny on an NCL cruise? Uh, yeah, Jenny goes on whichever cruises she wants. I don't, I don't get to take or not take. So uh, whatever she wants to do is what she gets to do. We're on the Encore in August. I don't know where what the tide is. I mean, the tide is controlled in these locks, so they're, they're dropping the water so that we can uh, even out where we're at. Everybody give Rob the attention that he needs, or Rod, he just needs a hug. It's okay. Hurt people hurt people. We don't know what Rob's hurt is, but we commiserate. Yeah, I, w I don't know what's in the lock. I'm sure it'll be getting out of there. I don't know how much longer until the lake. This is our first time through, but this is the first lock. So I can see the lock. I mean, I can see the lake beyond there. Timed out like a little baby, Scott. Sad, right? Carolyn, I'm one of those people that I haven't had my coffee yet. Who knew this was going to be uh, such a long deal? We've been live streaming for two full hours. How about that? How about that? Uh, Fred, these are the old locks. Thank you for the super chat. These are the old locks. Uh, that's why you see the little train thing on the right that's called a mule. They don't have that on the, uh, they don't have that on the new locks. I could get some coffee delivered, but our cabin's really close here. So I think once we're through these two locks, we're gonna go back to the cabin and 
uh, possibly run the live stream off the balcony or definitely stop and get some brunch lunch get ready for the afternoon the, the next set of locks we are moving uh, we're moving into the lock it's kind of hard but if you look at the bottom right you can see you can well you can see the mule moving a bit Chris, I've never cruised with a teenager. If anybody has teenager advice for cruising, find a ship, though, that has interesting stuff to do. I think they'll be okay. Let them take their Nintendo Switch with them if they play the video games. And kids, you know, most teenagers just like to roam, find other teenagers, run in packs. I think it'd be a great vacation. Somebody give the temperature again. I, I, I didn't commit it to memory. I think it's 82 or something. Yeah, it does look like the canal's too tight, but it is not. Not only did we have to drop in $300 each worth of quarters at the toll booth, but then we also had to put chicken fat on the side. No, I'm just kidding. Dennis Craig, thank you so much for the super chat. Nah, I'm okay. Oh, it stopped recording. Yep. I just stopped recording. Restarted recording. Yeah. Hit its half hour limit. Oh, welcome, Mickey. I wish you guys were here. Don is right there. He's over the way uh, working his camera, getting the shots. Shot, shot, shot. Chicken fat, that's not what we use to grease the sides of the canals. I missed the last part of your comment. Was it a different kind of uh, greaser? Crisco. Rainstorm didn't keep me up. I did wake up in the middle of the night and Jenny said, look out the window. So I think that was our total port fees. So maybe it's not 300 per person. I did link this toll to my son pass. So yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Karen Griswold says, hi, Don. Don says, hi, Karen. Give me just a second, I'll get back to the chat and get to switch the battery on the GoPro. That's rough, right? I wish that we could hear him. I am going to have your whole narration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No. I asked, I asked Jenny, 
How much does Cody charge narration? <laughs> Perfect. No, really. Yeah, yeah. I have to think of you like that. All right, we get the GoPro battery changed. They do have a guide that's narrating. Uh, I don't guess there's a speaker here on 10 is the interesting thing, or it's not playing. If we were up on 11, I think we could hear him. Like, we hear him muffled every once in a while. It is a rain and rain, y'all. Can you guys see the rain on the camera? Goodbye, John. Yeah, the replay will be up. It'll be long. I'll try to do some timestamps in the replay. So that you, we can get to the, you know, going through the first lock, going. Yep. Lana, thanks for the super chat. She found the locks boring. I don't think I could do this uh, a lot of times, but this is pretty interesting to me. We're, in, we're uh, currently entering lock two, and then we just have lock three in front of us. And then beyond that, next lock is the lake. Okay, you guys can't see that. It's a nice, heavy drizzle. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Like, it does, I'm sure the whatever was swimming in the lock swam out when it opened up. I think it's in the low 80s with some humidity. Um, yeah, this is something that uh, I don't know where else you'll experience this. So, uh, if you love to cruise and you, you know, you want to go over to the, uh, you know, east to coast to the west coast on a cruise ship, uh, this is a nice way to do it all. I can't hear any jungle birds right now. When we first pulled in, uh, we could hear some birds. See you later, Arl Ar Oliver. Thanks for checking it out. If you guys just dropped in the chat, please uh, show some support by hitting the like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, we've got almost 2,300 likes, 2,000 people, but uh, I know there's some uh, some new people in. I haven't seen any monkeys, no wildlife yet. Uh, just all this technology. Yeah, you can feel the ship being lifted, especially if you're looking at a point that changes. You kind of feel uh, feel like it. Looks like the they're on some sort of um, track. It could be a cog that pulls it along, but it's a single track. It looks like it goes through the middle of the mules. The mules getting ready to climb this incline, which is kind of cool. Yep, 85 feet up, then we go through the lake, and then 85 feet down. Good morning, Scotland. Good morning, Julie. Can somebody make sure the iPhone 13 can get real wet? I'm pretty sure it can. I think everything that I'm holding is uh, waterproof. It's already raining, Chris. We had a really bad rainstorm last night. It's a steady sprinkle right now. Oh, here goes the mule climbing up. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, ship's gonna rise again. I think it's, it, it, you know, it feels like, I don't know how long we've been in the locks, but it feels like an hour, a little over an hour to get through it. We've been in the live stream as we approach the lock, so we're an hour or 130 minutes in, so two hours in. But uh, we've only been in the locks, I feel like, for less than an hour. Yeah, any the today's punishment, well, that's not a good punishment, but uh let me think of a punishment while we're here. So the mule, there's uh mules on both sides of the ship. They're used to keep the ship in the middle of the lock. They're not actually pulling the ship. Uh, the ship uh, they kind of uh, I think that the ship actually motors through or uses the engine to get through, but the mule actually keeps it in the middle. You can, I don't know if you can see it very well on the live stream, but there's two really taut lines from the mule to the front of the ship, and then there's mules along the other sides of the ship. Yeah, definitely another ship. Big cargo ship coming on the other side. We've seen two big ships come through, and there's two more ships lined up on the right. Should be really cool to see. All right, so we're, I think we're as far forward in this lock as we're going, maybe. The gates will close behind us and then they will put uh, water in this lock to raise us up. <clears throat> okay, 
So if you're gonna do this trip, bring yourself like a rain slicker or a raincoat. Umbrella, possibly. Yeah, poor, the Super Chat guy didn't make it. Harry Larry Localucha. So sad. Now the new locks, so both of these locks here are considered the old locks. The new locks are to the left of us. We would have had to make a left turn at the beginning or a, there was a fork in the road, a fork in the waterway as we approached the locks. The left was the new locks. Uh, we're on the right, the old locks. And so these are both sets of old locks. One going one direction, one going the other. <clears throat> oh, very cool, Lori. That's what I hear, that the old locks are a, a better experience than the new locks because the tugboats just pull you through. The gates and the new locks are just a, a sliding door where these are two separate gates. The new locks have one kind of big sliding door. Yeah, old locks were the struggle, right? Like, so they, the new locks, they had a lot a lot of insight they were able to build them a lot easier than the old way yeah the new locks they're definitely there for efficiency and for water retention I think you know it makes sense Anybody who's been through here before, like from the balcony when you're going through the lake, is that good scenery or is it still better to front? I think I want to film from the balcony for a little bit. <laughs> uh, we're in LA for a few days. Uh, we're meeting some friends over there, going to try to do some stuff. I don't know what yet. Uh, in Colombia, I went on an excursion that did uh, folk dancing went to the old city and it went to the new part of the city called Little Miami. Uh, what surprised me was how much uh, it looked like uh, Cuba. Uh, it, it, it was cool. I, I still, I've got to look at all my footage that I took yesterday, but it was, a, it was a pretty cool day. Rob, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, Tony and Jenny. What an amazing way to spend a, Monday, a Sunday morning. I don't even know what day it is. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. So the mules, they're, uh, they're strong tension lines. They look like uh, steel cables, actually. They're very taut right now, so both of them provide a counter tension. Uh, they're hooked to the center front point of the ship, and so I believe they're holding them tight there, and then also uh, also on the side. Oh, somebody said portside balcony would be okay. Yeah, I'm starboard. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, Leland, thank you so much for the super chat. This is fun. Thanks. You're welcome. Portside would be okay. Yeah, never said. We are starboard side, so maybe we just take a break and then come back and find a spot. I feel like it only took five or ten minutes to raise us up the last time, so keep an eye on the gates and eventually they'll disappear beneath us. We're on the Island Princess. Welcome, William, for the new subscriber. Being a new subscriber, it's flying by quick. Uh, I can't touch the walls from up here. No, I don't think you can touch it from your balcony either. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think you should, though. Don't touch the walls. This is really cool, you guys. What I'm really liking is it looks like blue skies over there in the lake. Like it's, uh, we're still under a cloud here, but the, it looks like blue skies. It looks like they're gonna pop out in the lake and have some uh, blue skies.
traffic lights on the hills. That'd be cool. Thank you, Jeffrey. You guys have a good cruise. It says you can't touch the walls from the, I, yeah. Could you imagine if you just got hung on something and that would be a bad time. A bad, bad time. Yeah, we're going on the panorama. I think it starts on the 14th. 14th. <sighs> Feet again, sorry, y'all. What's up, Mike from Boston, Boston, Mass? They just rang a bell, so I don't know if that's the signal to to flood the locks. Jackie, I would recommend it. I mean, one one time, like I don't I don't see, you know, it's a it's a slow going thing, but this is really an interesting thing to see in per person all of this stuff going on. So, yeah, I mean, at its core, it's not anything more than, you know, pulling forward getting t taller, pulling forward, but it's really neat. Welcome Travel 1609. Yeah, it does, we're, we're, we're rising currently. Pretty wild going through all this film footage. What's up, Brimit? Welcome from uh, Ontario. Best trip for a balcony, best deck? I don't know. We're on deck 10, and this uh, deck is at the end of it, or this observation area. I kind of like that uh, because I've been able to run back and forth to the cabin pretty easily. I don't know, Carrie. Like, I think, like, the whole day is going to be an eight or nine hour day. I think this section is a two or three hour section. And then we go into this lake and make our way toward the other locks. This is the first canal I've ever been through. This is pretty, pretty cool. It is pretty wild to see the higher water. And if you notice, the, uh, the gate is starting to disappear. So we are getting risen up. Yeah, I got to feel like a shot from the aft of the ship would you'd be able to see the, the water filling. So maybe uh, on the... That'd be interesting. I, I don't know how fun it would be to watch the whole transit through the Pacific from the aft, but... Maybe we won't live stream the Pacific. We'll just, uh, we'll just do it. Yeah, so Camp Dan, I'm running two cameras that are running in real time to do time lapses. And got a 360 cam and a GoPro that's been filming for the whole the whole couple hours the 360 cam I'm holding in my left hand my favorite destination on a cruise ship that's tough like because I've not been to everywhere so probably the next one like I'm excited to go to the next port of Mexico that I've ever been to and end up in LA I, I just like the adventure of it all I feel like the lake's freshwater. They mentioned it in the in the uh, the talk, so I think this is freshwater actually. And that's the challenge with the old canals is they are pumping freshwater into these locks, and then they dump it all out and it flows out to sea and it becomes lost. And then, uh, but on the new locks, they have a a system to save uh, to save the uh, freshwater. Yeah, just remember if you're watching the live stream and your uh, picture gets fuzzy or freezes up, just to refresh. 
uh, this is coming off the ship internet, that kind of thing, and uh, 1,900 people watching. So the stream get, could get convoluted from uh, Google to you. So uh, just hit the refresh, and we'll be here as long as the, the internet doesn't completely conk out. Sarah Cruz, I'd never go on again. No, nah, there's not one that I would not not have done. Again, I, I like the experience of it all. You take the good with the bad. Thank you, Melissa, for the super chat. Have a great trip, Tony and Jenny. Thanks for sharing. Oh, glad to do it. Thank, thanks for the support. We appreciate it. So if you guys haven't noticed, we have, uh, we have risen the height of the gate. G'day, Bill Adams. Good to have you from down under. Yeah. The land of Oz. So I warned that if this cruise canceled, there may not be another one again. Next yeah, I don't know that. I'll definitely have to film the Pacific Locks, but I don't know if I'm going to live stream. At least when I film, I can sit down or something. Considering this is a hundred years old, it's pretty amazing, right? Yeah. I think mean, we can build a beast. The GoPro memory card has an hour 48 left. I'm sure we'll be through this next lock within the next hour. I think I'm okay. <clears throat> Yeah, we have, uh, I think we have three more port stops. I don't know the name of them off the top of my, their, their names I have trouble pronouncing, but I think three more stops on the Mexico side. Day to day, we're doing great. I'm gonna have an update on have to lose tomorrow, but following the program, get my steps in, a couple 10,000 step days, been good. I don't think we're going to Guatemala. I think it's maybe Costa Rica has a stop. Check that out. All right. Uh, I can take it. You want me to take it for you? You stay here real quick and I'll take it in. All right, Jenny B's going to take over for a second. Or leave it. I'll get it. I'll get it in a second. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll get it in a second. I don't think it'll disappear. I don't want to lose it. It's heavy. No, I'm good. Oh, can you put these in the chart? It's got a little flip top on it. The lights will come on. Say goodbye to Jenny B, everybody. She's going in for a bit. Look how big that is, guys. Looks like our gates are opening, so I'm going to swing it back over. Uh, my step goal is still six thousand, but uh, I know I've been I've been blowing that away actually. Yeah, maybe when we get in this next lock, we'll look at the next ship drop. Yeah, okay, so Puerto Arenas in Costa Rica, that's next. Oh. 
just uh, I gotta make sure I take that back. I just gotta make sure I take it back to my cab. The chair. <laughs> but, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chair charge. <laughs> Tina Klein, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. So fun to be there with you from beautiful Carmel, California. Thank you, Tina. All right, they just they just dinged the bell. So I think we're going to be moving forward. Our gate is fully open, as you can see. Let the party begin. Bring the action. Uh, we'll see the Pacific probably tonight, like 5 or 6 o'clock on the p.m. Here we go. The cool thing is, uh, I think you'll be able to come back. I see Ryan's comment about the resolution. Uh, YouTube has taken the full feed in, and they will publish it at a higher resolution on the replay. So... Come back and watch the replay. I'll try to put some timestamps in it. Uh, that way you can see it at a better resolution. Because uh, I'm thinking I'm going to pull the video off of YouTube also. The Well, like a copy for myself. Because it'll be at higher resolution. Jenny, I've been married almost 20 years. 20 years in February. Yeah, Jenny uh, encouraged the new look. Thanks, uh, thanks for asking. Uh, it's taken me a while to get used to it. Maureen Nelson, thank you so much for the super chat. Can that ship beside you fit into one lock? Yeah, it, it, it had to, I think. Or maybe they do two locks at a time. I don't know. That's a great question. It looks like both locks are kind of open. Yeah, it's a full transit, so we'll finish this today, 5 or 6 o'clock, on the West Coast side. We have six kids. Six kids from 31 to 21 this year. It, guys we're entering our last lock at least on the uh, Atlantic Ocean side uh, we've only had one time change first so we started on the East Coast now we're on the Eastern time we now we're on Central but I think we'll be making some more time changes to eventually end up on Pacific time they built a whole new canal instead of widening this one they built a whole new canal the new locks uh, well it's not a canal but the lock system Yeah, so that makes sense. The ship has to fit into each of the lock to uh, to go. So one lock at a time. Yeah, the new one, uh, there's no mules and they tug you through with the tugboat. We do have to change our clocks tonight. I can't remember. It's got to be, I can't remember. It's got to be another hour They're, they're kind of built like trains. They're on a single track. I don't know what uh, propulsion they use. If, I don't know if they're electric or gas, but they did tell us in the con in the presentation they cost two million bucks each, and there's about 100 of them that work these lock systems. I don't know if I'm going to live stream again on the Pacific. I have to see how I feel like, uh, I have to take a break. Definitely would be filming something to be able to show on the other side. I'll be filming the locks for sure. Got to get everything charged back up again.
I'm one of those FOMO, f I'm afraid of missing out. So I feel like, I wish I would just stay up here the whole day and just film everything that we see, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, the new locks are to the left. You can't see them, there's, uh, there's jungle in between it, but not far. When, if you go back to the beginning of the live stream on the replay, you'll see that the waterway forks to the left and to the right. The new locks would be to the left. Daniel Fields. Uh, this ship is the Island Princess. Webcams on my left. Yeah, Jay Spencer. I've, I've been to LA a couple times, but I want to take Jenny to show her a part of the Walk of Fame and tempted to go to Griffin Observatory and got some recommendations to go to a Hollywood, uh, like to a studio tour. So I don't know. We're gonna have fun. Barbara Marshall, thank you so much for the super chat. Did Panama Canal in Holland a few years ago, just to the lake and turned around, but very interesting. Great ports in Cartagena, uh, Cartagena, Panama, and Costa Rica. We're on the Island Princess. I think I missed another super chat. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know if it's day and night. I feel like it would probably just be, I don't know. It could be just at the day. I can't believe we're almost through this uh, first set. They have a whole schedule for us. I got to go uh, with time, so I got to go check it out again. Thought there's a lot of scooters on here, so I think, yes, yeah, uh, definitely some seating in the uh, theater. So. Uh, Carrie, do as many as we can. It's going to be hard to tell how many we can do now that the cruising's back again. But, yeah, that's kind of always... Uh, as many as we can, as many as we have time and resources for. We're trying to get to more interesting places, the places we haven't been this year. Uh, well, we navigate through the lake and then eventually we get to near Panama City and there's another set of locks. So we've been raised, uh, once we get out of this, we'll have been raised 85 feet. And so we have to get, um, we have to get dropped 85 feet through the locks on the Pacific Coast side and then we'll go out to the Pacific now. I don't think I'll go to, like, if I went to back to one, Peter, if I went to one of those, uh, or Pete, if I went to one of those places I went to in LA before, I would either go to Pierre's or Pink's, I think, before in and out Pierre's was so good. The home of the French dip. Randy, I don't know. They told us that in the presentation. I'm not sure how much water they filled there, how, how deep the locks are. 70 feet? 70 feet. Yeah, the big tanker on the other side is pretty wild. So we get raised up one more time, and then we will be uh, we'll be out. Philippe's the original. Never done a river cruise. I think the whole transit, like I think you pay for the whole thing. I, I don't know, but yeah, I think it's it's all paid with that one fee, and uh, it gets paid by wire transfer.
Yeah, yeah it's, um, it'll probably be three hours by the time we get out of the uh, stream. Mules are electric, there you go. Oh, thanks, Mary. Very cool. Yes, they did make us roll quarter. Well, actually, I got my quarters from the bank. Island Princess, 82 degrees. Good morning, Graham. Or afternoon, evening. See you, Mike. Have a good one, buddy. Thanks for watching. Sabrina, we're just about through the locks. It's been an interesting deal. We've been raised up uh, two times, and now we're being raised a third time to go out to Gaton Lake. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see anything to the left or right of me. Dominic, it has stopped raining just recently. Make sure you guys are following on Instagram. I've been doing a 360 of this thing. I think the camera may have just ran out of space. Let's see what's up. Battery is low. Oh, I need another battery. Mm. Dean, can you keep an eye on the camera? It's not going to do anything. I got to go get another battery for the 3D camera, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat, Tony and Rachel. Is that a cool setup over here? Yeah. This is so do you wanna, cool. Do you want to talk to 1,800 people, Emma? 1,800 people. Hey, look, it's Emma, the cruise Olivia. director. I'm Olivia, but I'll be Olivia. 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 I'm sorry, I know too many Emma's. <laughs> look, everybody, this is the best cruise director we've had all week. That's true. Thank you so much. <laughs> she's, so, she's so funny. Uh, wow. She's forgiven for wow. being Canadian because, I mean, Don, my friend's Canadian, but cruise director, I'm checking it out. You're so sweet. Thank you. Say hello to the Loca fam. Hello, Loca fam. How about that? All right, I got to go get another battery. <laughs> this is so nice up here. Yes. Better than it was in All right, we're back. What did I miss? Did we actually get through? We did not. Nothing missed. Uh, it's a little humid, Dominic, for sure. <clears throat> I think it's, I don't know what the percentage is. It takes all day to get through the canal. It's like 7 a.m. to 8 something. Sherry Johnson, thank you so much for the super chat. Dumb question. There's no dumb question. Remember, there's no dumb questions, only dumb people. I'm just kidding. That's my favorite thing to say. Dumb question, on a two week cruise, is there a way to do laundry after day seven? Yeah, so there's laundry mats on this ship and uh, then they also have a laundry service. So you can do it yourself or you can get it done for you. It's really nice. We only brought about a week's worth of clothes, so we're gonna have to do laundry. 78% humidity. I thought that was right, but wow, it's, it is hot. Uh, diesel man snow is still melting there in North Dakota. Yeah, definitely not a snow issue here. Yeah. 
I just love the shot with the prince's flag. And I don't think they're going to let that other ship enter the lock until, uh, until we get out of ours. Princess does formal nights. There's three on this cruise. Our cruise is 14 days. Good questions. On the island princess? Uh, quarter. So there's a, you have to pay a toll to get through the locks. And so there's a big toll booth at the front of the locks and everybody has to dump their quarters in. So we all had to bring $300 worth of quarters. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, and I think the laundry, we didn't, we don't need quarters or anything. I think the laundry runs off the uh, medallion. Yeah, it was hot yesterday in Colombia, hot today with the humidity. It's just very wet. We can't see this last gate, but uh, I feel like we're raising up pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the sitch on the marine life is. Barbara, thank you so much for the super chat. Glad to do it. I had to bring my own quarters. Don had to bring Canadian quarters, so you had to bring more. Hey, Don. The, uh, you know how we had to bring quarters to pay the toll to get through? Did you have to bring more Canadian quarters than I had to bring U.S. quarters? I brought tokens. Don has some other set of tokens, like, better than U.S. quarters. Yeah, Tim Hort, yeah. Timmy Bits. Loonies or toonies, <laughs> the Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Man, I used to have a ton of those. I have to ration them out to six kids. I, I, the water in the lock 70 feet deep is what I understand. Else. Maybe you made the last little bit here. <laughs> oh, that's right. Chuck E. Cheese is gun card based. I got a feeling this stream's gonna be over in 45 minutes or before. The process all the way through that we're doing today takes about eight or nine hours. We'll be on the other side. We'll be to the Pacific Ocean at the end of the day. Don is still wearing his hat for sure. Uh, after this, we're going to uh, stop in Costa Rica. My commitment to this 360 cam is what's killing me today. My left arm's about asleep. I don't think it works well on a regular tripod, so I've been holding it for three hours. <laughs> That's right, Megan, they're counting all the coins.
see ya. Uh, the entertainment activities have been good. We saw there's been two different comedians. There's been a production show already. What are we, day four, day five? One comedian did two shows, like he did a show and then the production show and then that comedian and then he got off in Columbia yesterday, Robbie Prince. And then we had a, another comedian last night and I think we had a production show coming up maybe tomorrow or something. Entertainment's been good. There's live music all over the ship. It shuts down a little early, like, you know, things are quiet, 10.30ish. The casino stays open quite a bit. We've been to the casino late. Even though there's a little tea tiny craps table, it's like a half table, a little tub. Uh, it's been hopping every night. A lot of folks. So has anybody been here the whole live stream? That would be impressive. Yeah, the wind's blowing a little bit, it's nice. Casino is open during the locks. We're on the Island Princess. Casino is open. Casino is open, yeah. People are in it. Is there already, there's people in it? What's up, Brenna? Okay. So we'll be passing them in the night. Thanks everybody that's been here for the, the long haul. It's a long live stream. All right, we're making our move out to the lake. <laughs> See, what did we miss before the live stream? We did go under a bridge. I don't think I was live streaming going under the bridge. So I'll be sharing that with you guys later. Maybe I can throw that up. I think I have an excursion in Costa Rica. I've only got one more excursion booked and it's uh, Sky Tram and Sloss and Butterfly Gardens and something else. And then there's two more stops I still have to pick out excursions for. Yep, Don's over here, he's uh, catching his footage. I think they made all this like I, I don't know if this lake existed or the whole thing I mean I think this was I don't know now I've got to go back and, and look at the notes on the thing but I don't know if it was like building these locks to the lake or if the Gatan Lake was there okay good under the bridge was live now Don's just catching uh, footage thanks yeah it makes sense that the lake would be there Okay, good. We went under the bridge. It's been three hours. You're looking at Gatan Lake. G. Uh, it was spelled up there earlier. Gatan. Oh, you're welcome, Dominic. Glad, glad that, glad that it's fun. Thank you, King Stan Cat. Appreciate it. I don't know, so uh, I gotta go look at the schedule, Joyce. It's gonna be later in the afternoon. What's up, wife of uh, Graham Teresa in the UK? Hope you're doing well. Oh, nice. So I understand that Gatan was a man made lake, uh, it's for sure. I got no way to verify. Out. You're welcome, Graham. I'll pass that on to Don. Oh, thanks, Joe. Kyle, don't get in trouble. The food's been good. Uh, 
Thanks, Ronald. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Yeah, it sure does look big, Maggie. Uh, Jojo, it's been great. Not until now, Scrapbook and Mama. This, uh, that is the first time, and now it'll probably be with me all day. Thank you. Uh, Lori, the, the cruise line determines which one it's going to go through. I don't know how they pick, but uh, that you can search by the older new locks when you're picking your cruise. Peggy and Artie, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Have an awesome time. Tony and Jenny. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. TayJ, what's up? Jazz hands for TayJ. Yeah. Uh, so see Bart, uh, once we clear this, I'll shut off the live stream. We'll probably do lunch and stuff like that and then figure out what to look at next. There's a whole schedule. Uh, eventually we'll end up at another set of locks in the Pacific. I definitely want to see the exit of that, but I want to film around the lake too. Uh, the weight loss channel is have to lose. Like I have to lose weight. Uh, look up for the Panama Canal book. It's a book by David McCullough. I think it's The Land Between the Seas. But David McCullough will find it to you. Cindy, thank you for the super sticker. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's quite a history here. A lot, a lot of people did lose their lives. Oh, Marco, thanks for being here. Yeah, I didn't know what to ex expect either, Traveling Paradise. It's pretty neat. Yeah, the path between the seas. Oh, the path between the seas, yeah. Ah, oh, thanks, Greg. Glad you're here. Rick Jones. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea to maybe go see the tanker. Yeah, once we clear this, uh, we'll, we'll jump off the stream. I don't even know what time it is. Glad the battery lasted with a little extra charge. Do you know what time it is, Dean? After 11. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. What's up, Mercy? But well, that tanker definitely has a tanker smell. Hey, 
Hey, thanks, Monty. Glad we could do it. Make sure you guys are following up. you're following along on Instagram because I think I'm going to try to do a uh, put up a time lapse on Instagram later depends how quickly I get through some of this footage of course there's still a lot to film but I've been doing some micro content over there so if you're looking for stuff on the ship there's uh, there's stuff on Instagram and uh, the handle over there is La Lido Loco with no spaces Thanks, Susan. Ooh, it's getting a little windy now that we're uh, clearing the locks. Thanks, LJ. Glad to be doing it. I feel really lucky to, to have been able to see this. I can't see behind me yet, so I don't know. It, I'm assuming there would be a ship behind us. Gatun Lake. Is that better? Gatun? I always have this question with the 360 cam. How far do I keep filming for it to be a cool shot? So we'll do a couple more minutes, then we'll shut down the live stream. Oh, cool, Laura. Yeah, glad to, glad to give you a glimpse. <laughs> Team Allen, you missed it, and there was a lot. We were here for a long time. Stopped raining, which is nice. It's still overcast. Marlene, definitely. That's all right, Team Allen. The, uh, it'll take a little bit for it to process, but the um, the replay will be up soon. You're welcome, Sylvie. I'll take it, Tom. Uh, the book is The Path Between the Seas. All right, guys, we're going to shut it down. I'm not sure if we'll do anything else today, but uh, be on the lookout. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification on uh, in case, uh, in case uh, we, we go live again. Yeah, let me shut down this 360 cam, and then I'll pan around a little bit, kind of get uh, my wits about me. What's up? My glasses are still uh, rain soaked. How about that? Let me wipe the rain off my glasses. All right, guys, let's take a look around. Oh, Keith, thank you for the super chat. You guys want to. Don's packing up his gear. A little shot of the folks still hanging out. Do a slow pan here. Here's Lake, y'all. on the deck up top. Back around. Look at all these uh, tankers and such out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's Panama Canal Day. We made the transit to the locks on the Atlantic side. We're now 85 feet higher than we were when we started the day. And, uh, so I can just drop this camera. We're 85 feet higher than when we started today, and sometime later today, we're gonna go through locks on the Pacific side. We're in a big lake right now, uh, but we're taking a little bit of a break. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. We may be back later. If not, I'll have some footage of all of it for you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I can't even see the screen. Uh, this is Tony for Jenny B, for Don, La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.